<laughs> brings a lot of new trends. This time around, it's upside down Christmas trees. This is kind of odd, but they're everywhere. This is the upside down tree. I think they kind of look pretty can in I, some I, way, shape, or form. Can I say something? Please. You know this is not new, right? Right. Are you millenn you millennials. But they're all over Twitter now. I've never seen. I have never seen an upside down Christmas it's tree. It's not new. It's not new. You Sign millennials up. kill me. We had one hanging upside down in West Elm Nola last year. Don't come for it. It was so 2016. <laughs> y'all had one upside down Upside last down year? on the front of our catalog and in the store. How much is y'all's? No, we just hung you one. Just hung it. We didn't oh. sell. Well, a, you can buy yes, one at Target. Can buy Guess it. how much it costs. How much? $150. Guess again. Because they've turned it upside down and going to sell it like it's something special, I'm going to say $299. Target is selling one for more than one thousand no dollars. Here That's it is on ridiculous. their website. It's one thousand forty-one dollars, and it's not even decorated. Come on, cut that out. Now, either. maybe this is not new, as you say, but it has started a new fight on social media. Some people say it's disrespectful to traditional Christmas values, and I wanted to know if you guys thought it was disrespectful. Obviously, you don't, because you have it in the store. We had it in the store last year. I don't think it's disrespectful. I see a lot of people actually mounting them to their ceiling, right. because. The toddlers and the kids don't pick at it, and oh. the cats and the animals don't climb in it because it's, it's up on cute. the ceiling. So, and, and another reason is it actually saves space when you do it that yes. way. Oh. So that's another reason. But this is an old Europe, like Eastern European tradition. They've been doing this for hundreds of years, literally. And it's not, that's why it's, you know, I guess people see it for the first time in America and they think, <laughs> ah, you know what, it's new. But it's yeah, not. They it's not are. Right. And not only do they, we think that it's new, people are offended by it. I wasn't offended by it. I was just like, okay, I'm never going to pay a thousand dollars. Not a thousand dollars. I need no. people to start using that device that everybody the has, Google? that smartphone. You know, they and just start it. using just it for use more it. than watching Dre cook mac and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. looking at upside down cheese. But no, I mean, look, I think it's probably <laughs> becoming trendy. It is, I guess, it is trendy you know, now. But it's not new. I mean, maybe they existed no. before, but I yeah. don't think they were as popular as now. They're in tons of hotel lobbies. And, and stuff. clearly Target is trying and to take advantage. And now they're selling them yeah. in stores, yeah. so I think people are just seeing it I more. think you missed an opportunity there. I think there. that West Elm was ahead of the trend. <laughs> That's Let's right. go Thank West Elm. Are y'all charging $1,000? No. See, you missed an we opportunity. Just, we, we, <laughs> did it we just did it ourselves. Oh, so we weren't okay. selling it. Yeah.